Uh, my name is Rick Nice. I, I did a production called The Squad with J Love, Shazam X. We uh, produced Large Professor Ron Mania in 99. One day, my father brought a pair of turntables home. And I watched my uncle DJ. And he was cutting up some breakbeats like Daisy Lady. And I just fell in love with it from there. You know, then I started. My brother was bringing home the breakbeats, the octopus breakbeats home when he was in high school. Cold Crush tapes. I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm, it was Cold Crush 82, I'm nine years old. My brother's bringing Cold Crush tapes home. And I know their lyrics down to the T. Cold Crush, rocking, rocking in the pocket. Charlie Chase. I remember everything about it. I remember the lyrics. 1982, now the four is running. Things just like we always used to do. Yo, to this day, that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cuts. Rockin' in the Pocket, the vinyl. I got two original copies, my favorite cuts. Yeah, my father, he, he didn't care for it too much, but I remember one Christmas, and this is another one of my favorite records, Nautilus. My father went to buy me a keyboard, a Casio keyboard from the Wiz. If anybody can remember the Wiz, I said, Dad, I don't want the keyboard. I looked at the wall, and all I seen was Bob James Nautilus, you know? That's all I wanted. I didn't even want the keyboard. Oh, you know what? It's one song that I did. Everybody thinks Premier did it, but I did it. The Revolutionist, Guru, the original copy. I did it, and that was for my album. It was for the Squad album, Me, J. Love, and Shazam X. And, uh, and I appreciate that everybody thinks Primo did it, because then, it, then, it, then I'm being felt as like, damn, I'm being compared to Primo. And I was on a Fat Beats album with Primo, and I was on a, um, um, uh, mixtape with Primo from the New York Giants, and my tracks still was compared to Primo. I was a I was I was a decent producer, and I wasn't one of these keyboard crapping producers and, and making crap. You know, I was a producer. When you heard my beat, my beat had feeling to it. It had emotions to it. Something that you could rap to and feel it. 